What's up YouTube? Now tech and self-improvement are at the core of this channel, hence the name tech improvement. But sometimes tech can get in the way of self-improvement. And that's probably one of the reasons why Google just came out with five new digital well-being apps as part of their digital well-being initiative. You can check them out right now. I'm going to leave links down below, but I'll walk you through each of them real quick. First one on the list is Unlock Clock, the perfect name for the product because it's basically just a clock that shows you how many times you unlocked your phone that day. That's it. Second app is Postbox. Check out the video. Introducing Postbox, an experimental app which minimizes distractions by holding your notifications into the time that suits you. Simply choose how often you'd like your notifications to be delivered. When they arrive, they'll be neatly organized for you to go through. Basically, it just schedules your notifications for certain times of the day, which is going to help you check your phone less. It probably works very well in combination with Unlock Clock. App number three is WeFlip, which is an interesting concept, which I think we've seen before. It's basically targeted at people using their phone in public situations, when you're out with friends, having dinner or something, check out the clip. Introducing WeFlip, an experimental app which enables you to switch off from technology as a group to spend quality time together. Simply wait for everyone to join, then flip the switch together to begin your session. When someone in the group unlocks, the session will end and you'll be able to see how you did. So one issue I see with that is people not having the app on their phone and having to make the effort to install that app. And it looks like it's only out on Android. And I think there's better ways to do it. You could just put all your phones in a box or something and whoever reaches for it first has to pay $10 or something. I don't know, not my favorite on the list. Next app, probably my favorite is Desert Island, which forces you to choose just seven apps that you can bring on that desert island. And these are the only ones you can use on that day. It comes as a launcher, so it replaces your current home screen and it just lists. If there's an emergency or anything, you can of course leave that screen. There's multiple ways to cheese it. You can just use Google Assistant to open another app or multitasking view. But check out the video and create a picture for yourself. Introducing Desert Island, an experimental app which helps you find focus by challenging you to go a day with a handful of essential apps. Simply pick the apps that are most important to you, then give it a go for 24 hours. See how you did, and maybe even go again with one less app. I think it's an amazing idea. I already tried it out on my Google Pixel. Let me know what you think in the comments down below and maybe give it a shot. Next step is Morph, which is a little bit of a different approach because it just shows you the app that it thinks you're gonna use at that time. Check out the video. Introducing Morph, an experimental app which adapts your phone to what you're doing, giving you just the right apps at just the right time. Think about how you divide your time and choose the apps that are most important to you in each mode. Then, based on time or place, your phone will automatically adapt to what you're doing. Try the experiments and create your own on the Digital Wellbeing Experiments platform. Anyways, what do you guys think of these five apps? Will you try them out? Give them a shot. I think it's a very cool initiative to see Google actually putting an effort for you to use their products less. But I see it as a way of improving the relationship you have to your phone. So I'm all for it. I think it's amazing. Let's see if there's any new ones coming out in the future. That's been it for me today. If you like this video and found it informative, leave a like down below. I'll see you all in the next video.